Hi guys, this is Drama again, and I come to you to let you know my spiritual self, my spiritual path, uh, what I what I was, what I am now, and what I do. Um, first, from my from when I was born, from the time I was born to time I was 22 I think it was 22 uh, wait a minute. yeah 22 I was a Baptist Christian ah surprise <laughs> okay no most people didn't know that but there is a lot of things that I have seen and that I have heard that gives me the creepies and also gives me a sense of empowerment um christianity in itself is not bad but the people are how about that okay say it that way the people are bad because well i'm not gonna say all people but majority of them bitches are fucking crazy and you're not I'm not I'm not gonna say oh you shouldn't be a crystal witch that is your business I ain't got time for that you ask for, you ask for that shit when you get there okay if you believe in hell, heaven and hell and you trying to be a witch look at here uh you deal with that shit when you get to the pearly gates I ain't got time for that uh uh I'm not touching that but no so for the 23 years mm -hmm. sorry hold on Hello? Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gonna, you gonna take it to the doctors? Okay. All right. Nah. Okay. So I'm definitely not cutting that out. But <laughs> it's just my my brother in law. Um, the school called about my niece. She has fluid draining out of her ear. So hold on for a second. I need to call. I need not call, but text my sister because she's in school. She's a first grade teacher, isn't that cute? She got 27 little kids that she take care of, and they so cute. Like, I met them once because I had to shadow. I had to shadow for um for school because I'm going to be a, a, a special education early childhood teacher. And I had to shadow uh, an, uh, a ESL teacher in her school which is actually a good friend of ours so at the end of the day i went in her classroom her students was like just staring at me like because i was sitting in her classroom when they walked in so they didn't know who i was i think they had just come from gym or something and they come in they're like oh, miss charlie who is that who is that miss charlie <laughs> and like they're just asking her who who i who i am right and she's like Okay, children, this is my sister. She's just here to, to observe. So please be on your best behavior. They was like, oh my God, this your sister? Y'all don't look like sisters. Oh my God, I can't believe this. This is like, they, they're so adorable. I love them. They're so cute. But yeah, so let me do this right quick. But yeah, so while I'm typing, I will let you know uh, that... Uh, there's things that are, are done in Christianity that a lot of people don't speak about. Because, hold on.
Sorry about this, guys. But, you know, this is my life. So, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of things that go on in Christianity that a lot of people don't like to address or they don't like pay attention to it. Sorry, I thought I heard something, but it's my dog upstairs. He likes to run around and play. Okay, but here's the thing. Yes, I have had my my share of crazy, but I have my share of beautiful as well. And I think that that goes hand in hand with any any religion that you look into or any religion or lifestyle that you're part of there's bad and good in, in anything because that's how nature works there's bad and good like the lion don't necessarily feel like it's committing evil when it is eating but that's because it's eating so, you know what I mean? We can say, oh, it's attacking the goats and the cows or the herdsmen and all that stuff. But it's just looking for food. It's not, oh, let me attack this man because I need to just make him feel miserable. No, he's hungry. So, I think it's good and bad in everything. Now, I can tell you a lot of stories, though. I can tell you a lot of stories. And most of them... It, has to do with like um demons and you know exorcisms and all those type of good things but if you guys want to hear about that you know i do a separate video but if you don't eh, what else so around my year uh right after my birthday in june i experienced a uh miscarriage and this is after five years, damn near five years, four, four and a half years of warning children. And I kind of felt like that was my last straw because I was already, already was like drifting away from the church and drifting away from that ideology type of, that, that, that idea of, of God and Jesus and you know mary and all of those um that whole pantheon i was just so done with them and that kind of broke that was the straw that broke the camel's back like how dare you dangle something in my face that i wanted for so long and then you have the nerve to fucking take it away from me like it was just so disheartening to me because it's like it was something like okay in Christianity or at least in my part of Christianity Baptist it's believed that if you go to God with anything you can achieve anything I took my body through years of hell taking birth control doing all this type of things trying to be one simple thing a mother sorry my camera act like it's about to die so hold on, let me plug it up oh, let's get a close up to my face Oh, you see, it's just open up. Okay, there we go. But yes, so people were so excited. My mother, in general, she was so freaking excited. 
because she wanted one from her oldest all the time. She's always saying it. You know, we're going to be a family. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be da 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 da. So she was just so freaking excited. You know. 13 weeks in. Yep. I lost the baby. So. It's just. It's crazy to me. How people. Are still wrapped up in that. Asking you shall receive. Bullshit. Because I realize that I have to get things for, I have to do things for myself. I can't just rely on a deity. And this is the reason why my last video was communicating with the deity and communicating that you, getting to know that deity. And, and they're just there to help, not to provide, but to help. It's a difference. Okay. Uh, Alright, so... After that, I decided that I was going to be mean and look up the total, the, the religion that was totally, totally like opposite of Christianity. And I don't know who I was trying to hurt. Well, I do know who I was trying to hurt, but he didn't give a damn. Jesus didn't give a damn. Like it didn't didn't work. It didn't matter to him. But uh, you know, I was trying to to be mean, and I actually came across Wicca, and I was like, "This is this is interesting. I don't know what this is. This is interesting." So the whole month of July, the first day was July the seventeenth. So that's kind of like my my. Uh, witchy anniversary <laughs> so <clears throat> the whole month the whole rest of the month rather I got I was researching Wicca and it was like in August I was like oh this is interesting I no longer cared to to get back at God I never hold on hello hey Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Nah. Yep. Y'all probably gonna get to see my niece because. He went and picked her up, but the doctor said they can't see him see her today. So yeah, all right. <clears throat> but yeah, so it was kind of like after a month of after those two weeks. I'm not even gonna say a month. It was two weeks of being just mean and trying to. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm either gonna be in this or I'm not. I can't do a half ass. So August, I was like, you know what? Let me just actually put my head in books and understand. And like, everything just started clicking. It was like, just, just going. It was, it was, it was amazing. It was so fun. And I was like, it's crazy. This, this, this is my home. This is where I belong. Like, it was just, everything was amazing. And my first ritual, I remember. My first ritual was actually a money ritual because at the time we were behind on a bill payment and I needed the the money for it, the extra money for it because I didn't have, I had majority of it but not all of it. I remember and it was actually a coin spell and I took the coins and I put it in some water and underneath the moonlight I said a chant and dipped my hand through the water as if I was scooping up money so <laughs> that's a crazy one I think I have that in like my, my spiritual okay let me show you I have a spiritual journey journal and this right here uh, doesn't have 
everything because this one starts for 2015 but I do have one that goes farther back when I started in 2010 so yeah <laughs> it's kind of crazy but that spell was is in there and as I think of it now that was one of the most empowering things because I did get the extra money that I needed but I also got a sense of freedom I got a sense of the power is to bring forth things and manifest things was in my hand because at the time I didn't even so oh, there's my sister <laughs> okay alright so at the time I didn't even have a deity so that shows you uh, your own power and it was so freeing to me I had it was it was lovely I, I couldn't think of anything better it was awesome but uh and then I started to the whole do what you will harm none got to me it got to me pretty bad because what tripped me out was that you motherfuckers well I ain't gonna say you but some of y'all motherfuckers got a whole lot of mouth on y'all and y'all just need to be slapped like a little tiny bit like like slap so I started to think I, the wicca I can't follow the wicked read I can't do it I can't do it I, it's just not not me not me so what I started to do was look into other forms of magic and then I saw, saw eclectic and they they have all a jumble of different uh, traditions uh, I was like cool okay cool I can do that for for a couple so for about a year or two I did that and then I wanted a little bit more I wanted tradition because I wanted to be I wanted to be a part of something so I uh, that's when I met Dia Nim and Dia is my community but a little bit I think a, a couple of months before that I started to look into hoodoo and hi guys um okay so <laughs> what I was saying before my camera rudely cut off that I had got into hoodoo and I actually joined this Facebook group to know more about hoodoo and I asked them could they do hoodoo without the Christian elements and I kind of ruffled a couple of feathers by asking that question and they were not happy about it and they were like if you don't want to do the Christian elements you don't want to do hoodoo blah 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 so what I did was I continue to research hoodoo and continue to research its magic ways and all this stuff and I started to go by hoodoo witch and I didn't necessarily do too much hoodoo because I didn't want to do the Christian element and then I met a couple of people in my life new people and they were like Mm. you don't seem so much hoodoo maybe voodoo to me and I'm like what what okay so I looked at voodoo looked it up and discovered there are two main types I'm gonna say two types but two main types and there's the the Haitian and then there's Louisiana and Louisiana fit me perfectly it fit me perfectly you don't really have to work with the Saints you um, you can work with Papa you can work with uh, the seven African powers there's it's just a lot of different things that you can do uh, and they have roots and different traditions and they have different ways of doing things like a house has a different way of showing love to that that lower so <clears throat> that's where I'm at now so it's pretty much Louisiana voodoo and I've been researching it for about two years now and I'm, I'm still researching so yeah every every day is something new everything is something something cool 
and I just I love it it's awesome it's just it's very interesting to me because I get to learn so many different things so many people outlooks on things and I'm always learning something new me and my friend well she's more than a friend she's my sister that's my heart uh, Gabby I love her to death because I, I won't let nobody fuck with her <laughs> but yeah we, we talk about a lot about our spirituality and, and where we're coming and where we're different and I don't never have that problem of oh so you do you do you know Papa too so you need to do this you need to do that no I never had that problem with her um, same with my other sisters Tasha and, and, and Chris and my brother Adam I don't have that problem with them like that's why my circle is the way it is because I don't have that problem with people trying to stuff knowledge down my throat like they'll suggest something 11 11 kiss the clock good luck yay okay hey that's the southern roots in me there so hey but no um that I don't have that problem with them trying to change my spirituality to meet theirs because it's funny we're all a, a whole group of jumble like um Gabby's path is similar to mine but not similar to mine it's, just, it's weird but then Chris is nowhere near my path hers is Norse so she's she's a heathen so it, it's nowhere near mine and then there's there's Adam who is a spiritualist and he works more with the angels and the saints and but he still has a magic twang to him I don't I don't know we, we're all weird okay <laughs> so it's just and we mesh well together we have yes we have our disagreements we have our arguments but at the end of the day there's nothing I wouldn't do for them and there's nothing they wouldn't do for me they're my people I know that I love them to death and they're, they're my heart so it I kinda commend God or Jesus for doing me the way he did me cause I wouldn't have met so many amazing people and I wouldn't have my life wouldn't have changed for the better you know what I mean so in retrospect I guess I'm thanking Christianity for being so fucking nuts <laughs> to make to help me allow uh, such great people in my life and I love them to death so yeah oh this got all mushy and shit <laughs> alright but I love you guys and I hope if you have you know want to do a video response to this and show, tell people about your path um, tag me into it and let me know because you know they don't do the video response to tag anymore but yeah so bright blessings you guys and talk to you guys later bye